What's good with y'all Scorpios? The Scorpionic Sag, Northern Rising, Tarot, and Center. Welcome to the channel. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe. If you care, leave a donation. I have a link in the description box below, along with other information. And I'm going to put it out there, y'all. This is a surprise. I know how I said I would charge $40 for reads. Let me tell you something. Since it's y'all birthday season, all the way from October 23rd through November 22nd, I charge $5 for any question to be answered, okay? Besides a love situation, if you're worried about if your lover is cheating on you and stuff like that, etc., I can never do those reads, okay? So I'm going to just put it to you like that. But any other question out there, okay, I have it all in the description box below. Any question that I have, okay, or you have, I will charge $5 to the maximum since it's your birthday season, okay? So there you go. But anyways, I'm going to get into this read to see what's coming towards y'all or what to expect this upcoming week. Okay, now I'll take the energy how it resonates because energies do change. Like I always tell y'all, you have to have a detached perspective when it comes to future readings. Okay, this is just a prediction. Okay, don't mean it's going to happen. It's just a prediction. So take it from a detached perspective because if you live up to your expectations, let's say I lay a love reading down and you're expecting a love to come your way and it don't happen. When it don't happen, that's what's going to trigger people. That's living up to expectations. Pay attention. But anyways, what do we have for Scorpios? What Scorpios can expect this upcoming week? Holy Spirit. And by the way, happy birthday to all the Scorpios that have a birthday today. I have one of my subscribers. Shout out to you. Happy birthday. I know who I'm talking about. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Anonymous. I can't say your name because I don't, you know, out of respect for you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I can't sing that shit worth a shit. Let's see. Happy birthday to my scarps, man. Happy birthday. Mine's the 29th, y'all. I forgot to put that. Yeah, mine's the 29th. The 29th, baby. The 29th. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to give it one more shuffle, y'all. One more shuffle. What does Scorpio need to know about this upcoming week? What to expect? What can Scorpio expect for this upcoming week, Holy Spirit? What can Scorpio expect for this upcoming week, Holy Spirit? What can they expect? Five of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Y'all could be shedding y'all ego, Scarps. But I'm going to just get it to the read, though, because I don't have to. King of Pentacles, I see y'all being guarded. Ten of Swords, damn. Eight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Strength card. Awesome. Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. The Star. Check you out, Scarps. The Star. That's what I'm talking about. Four of Wands. Eight of Cups. Do a 15 card spread. Judgment. Ten of Cups, Knight of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Hmm, Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. I see you with your defenses up, okay? I see you being this, in this defensive energy. I see you being guarded, okay? This is what to expect the upcoming week, okay? This week that's coming. Some of y'all could be having a reconciliation from somebody that betrayed you in the past with this Ten of Swords energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is almost the same read that I got for y'all the other day. Because you have the Eight of Pentacles right here along with the Three of Pentacles. All about putting in work, 
putting in work to this connection because there's a possible reconciliation with the Nine of Cups, which fulfillment. You also have the Three of Cups too. Okay? That can stand for reconciliation. The Four of Wands. You have the Ten of Cups. Oh yeah, this is a reconciliation, Scarps. I see somebody coming towards you in the upcoming week with a lot of communication. Okay, a lot of communication with the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Well, the Eight of Cups is all about walking, going towards something. I see a reconciliation coming your way, Scarps. Somebody could be watching you online. Somebody could be watching you online with this Three of Pentacles. They could be asking their friends about you with the Three of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But you do have the Ten of Cups here. Okay, you got a lot of cards that could stand for a possible reconciliation. The Three of Cups, and you have the Nine of Cups. Y'all see what I'm saying? It's a lot of cards that could stand for that reconciliation. Somebody possibly wanting to come back from your past to work on things and build things up with you again. Like I said in my last video, that's the same exact card that I had with the Three of Pentacles. I see the numbers 33 right here too. Exactly, 33. 88. Have the numbers 88. The 1111 card. A lot of synchronicities here, Scarps. You could be seeing this on a digital time. Pay attention. Could be a possible Leo coming back your way too. They just they're they're in this energy the way they feel like they have to hold back. And are taking their time for whatever the reason is. They keep taking their time. This stands for reconciliation too. Judgment. The judgment call. They possibly made a poor judgment in the past. But a third party. Now they're trying to get information from their friends, but... I'm going to tell it to them like this, bro. The only answers, accurate answers that you can have is within yourself. Because who's to say these people will tell you the truth? Something to think about. I'm not talking to the Scorpio, I'm talking to the person that the Scorpios are dealing with or could be possibly dealing with this upcoming week. Because for the masculine scarps out there if, if you have a female that you broke up with and she's out there trying to seek advice from her female friends nah some of them masquerade themselves as friends but yet they're haters they don't want to see your, your old lady happy they don't want to see her happy tell her things that she wants to hear to feed her ego I'm not saying that is happening I'm just saying Because they have a lot of bitter ones out there, bro. Jealous of your connection. Jealous of what y'all two have. That would be quick to put something in their ear that ain't even true. About the Scorpion Man. About you. I'm just speaking on the Scorpion Man's perspective. A jealous female would be the first one to talk shit to your old lady. To keep her away from you because she can't have you, yet she don't want nobody else to have you. Selfish, bro. Selfish. But you know what? A strong-minded lady, she ain't gonna listen to none of that. She ain't gonna be listening to other people. She gonna trust herself. That's what Scorpio men respect, bro. Uh, a, a female with a mind of her own that could think for herself. And I have all these other people in her ear trying to manipulate her. You know, a female coming in her ear talking shit about her man, she'd be the first one to stand up and say, you ain't gonna be talking uh, like that about my man. I don't know where the hell you come from. I know how my man is personally. Yeah, he has a dark side, but you think I'm perfect myself? Sit your ass down. That's a strong-minded female. That will, it, that will self-reflect within herself. And acknowledge that, hey, you know, I'm not perfect myself. 
that will actually stand up for him. I'm just speaking on a Scorpion man's perspective. Yeah, you can have a reconciliation, Scarps. I am definitely seeing a reconciliation this upcoming week. Okay, because this is almost the same exact spread that I had in my last video. Y'all, I'm serious with this Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I don't really want to do the same read, y'all, but it's the way the cards are in alignment. You see what I'm saying? And y'all see me shuffle the cards, you know? But this is what keeps showing up, you know, that, that Knight, of, uh, Knight of Pentacles. Y'all could go back and watch my last video. Knight of Pentacles, very slow movement. But there is a lot of communication coming uh, towards you. Somebody that wants to build things back up and get things back on track. They see you focusing on yourself, Scarps. Or this could possibly be an Aquarius that you dealt with. Okay? Just taking whatever resonates. But they see you focusing on yourself, Scarps. They're coming in with that quick communication. That Knight of Swords. You have a lot of communication there because they made a final judgment call. They're turning away from all these other cups because you are the cup that's missing. That's what they're going towards. See this missing cup right here? They're going towards you. Because that's where the cup is at. I mean, look at all these cups, bro. You got the three of cups. You got the nine of cups. I love this card right here. You got the four of wands. They see you as, as their happy place. Look, the ten of cups. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. The judgment. They're making a final judgment call. They betrayed you in the past. With the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They know they stabbed you in the back. Not meaning that they can be cheating. Because you do have the Three of Pentacles here. So that could stand for cheating third party situation. But I don't see that sneaky uh, Seven of Sword energy in here. Okay, But you do have the Three of Pentacles and you have the Three of Cups. But Three of Cups is all about uh, reunion and stuff. Okay, The Three of Cups is all about reunion. All right? Now, I can see if it was flipped or uh, reversals. No. But you do indeed have the Three of Pentacles and you have the Ten of Swords. So what I get from that is somebody could have possibly backstabbed you. Not necessarily cheating on you, but backstabbed you to other people. Running their mouth about you to other people and betraying you in that way. Now, that could be a possibility, okay? That could be a possibility. Because people can betray you like that too. They can run their mouth out there and say things that's not true about you, but yet, I'm trying to get other information from these cards. They can run out there and say things about you or whatever and betray you like that. Talk shit behind your back with other people. Or realize they was wrong for that. But I see you being guarded, though. I see you being guarded with the King of Pentacles energy. Like, you're not going to let this person in easily. Look at this. Look at that really closely. That's all about guarding himself. You're not going to let that person in easily. It's going to be a challenge, I'm telling you. But this person does see you as the four of wands, man. I'm telling you, that come up in y'all. I'm telling you. It come up in y'all last read or last night. It come up in that read, the four of wands. With the Eight of Pentacles. With. Hold on, y'all. The Eight of Wands. Coming in with that fast communication. Wanting to work on things with you. Want to build things back up and get it to where it was. Fresh start. Got the Ten of Cups here. Somebody definitely wants to come back from your past, Scarps. With a reconciliation. You have the nine of cups. You have the three of cups. And you have the four of wands. A lot of synchronicities here. 233. 88. Judgment card. Reconciliation. Somebody making a final judgment call. They knew that they messed up. So they're judging their actions that they, they made in the past. With this ten of swords energy that they put you in. They know they backstabbed you. They know they betrayed you. 
something's just holding them back right now, okay? Or you could be strong. They could be seeing you as being strong in a situation, not letting it affect you anymore. Because you are indeed in the King of Pentacles energy. But they see you in the star energy too. Focus on yourself. Not worried about them. Putting the work within yourself to make yourself shine. And I see them walking away from all these other cups because look, right here, that cup's missing. Where do you think that other cup is? It's with you. I'm telling you, it's with you. You still have this slow movement. Okay? Now y'all have to remember. Ain't that ironic how before I did this spread, I said, now if I do a love reading. That's just crazy, bro. Even if I would have did a 10 card read, look, you still got the three of cups and you still got the nine of cups. Even if I would have did a 10 card spread. Still. I know I'm adding 15 of them, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm doing 15 card spreads now, but still. It would have still ended up with that reconciliation, that energy. Right here. But still, though, you have 78 cards, bro. That's a lot of cards. This is only 15 out of 78. That's a lot of cards, bro. So, you know, I like to think outside the box, you know. To analyze things at a deeper level. But... I'm telling you, why would these cards keep coming out, though? Why would they keep coming out? With the Eight of Wands, you got the Eight of Pentacles, 88. You also have another Eight right here, 888. Look at this, bro. 888. I'm telling you. Yeah, this person definitely wants to come back and reconcile with you, Scorpio, and work out things and work out things with you from this betrayal that they put you through. There's a lot of slow movement, just like I said with that Knight of Pentacle energy. A lot of slow movement. They're taking their time, but they're moving. They're taking their time, but they're moving. But you also have the Knight of Swords energy too. So that could be a past energy with that Knight of Pentacles. Now you have the Knight of Swords coming in with that quick communication. Along with the Eight of Wands. Right here. I'm telling you, some of these cards was in my last spread. Last night. Not my last video, but last night when I made that video. Somebody wants to communicate? Look, you got the communication card right here. The Eight of Wands. And you also have the Eight of Pentacles. Wanting to work on things. Putting in equal amounts of effort. Reunion. Reconciliation. As you can see. Oh, yeah. Somebody's coming back, Scarps. Somebody's coming back. They want a reconciliation because they made a final judgment call on the situation, just like I've been saying. From that Ten of Swords energy that they, they put you in because they know they backstabbed you. It don't necessarily have to mean that they cheated on you, but more than likely that's what happened. Because why else would they have this Three of Pentacles here? See what I'm saying? Or they could have just been talking shit about you. Like leaving you out in the cold, etc. Leaving you out in the cold. But that's what I get for this upcoming week, Scarps. Uh, somebody possibly will return with a reconciliation, okay? And wants to work things out with you with that Eight of Pentacles energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You have Leo. You have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces.
and you have the Aquarius energy with the star card. So, this is what to expect for the upcoming week, okay? But just remember, take it from a detached perspective in case it don't happen. It could happen for some Scorpios, but a different batch, nothing. See what I'm saying? That way y'all don't live up to your expectations, expecting this to come y'all way. Therefore, if it doesn't happen, it leaves you disappointed. But in order to not be disappointed, don't live up to the expectations. Have zero expectations. That's when things will happen. Laws of attraction. I know it's ironic, bro, but it's like the, the, as soon as you let go of expectations, that's when things fall into place. Just like the UPS truck, okay? You order something online. And you're waiting on that damn truck. Like you're looking out the window. You're going crazy. It's almost like you're stalking these people. Okay, you're waiting on the truck to show up to your house. You don't see not one truck around. But the minute you like, you know what? Fuck it. You hear that knock at the door, right? Guess who it is? The big old brown UPS truck. With your package. Ain't that ironic? As soon as you said fuck it and let go. And you put it out your mind. Guess what? That's when you start seeing them everywhere, even if you didn't order a package. If you ever take notice how the mail lady, okay? You looking for the mail lady because you got something coming in, in the mail. You don't see not one truck around. You may see one here and there, but you, if you're expecting it, you're not going to see those trucks. But if you don't have anything coming in the mail, you see them everywhere. It's the laws of attraction. When you're not expecting something, that's when you see it the most. It's ironic, bro, but it's, they got some truths to that. It is truths because when you sit back and you're like, fucking, I ain't, I ain't going to be worried about it anymore. What happens? They knock at the door. Got delivery. That's how situations like this happen. When you least expect it. Focus on yourself. That's what I tell y'all all the time. Focus on yourself. Don't be worried about these past situations. If it's meant to be, the spirit realm will put it back in your life. Okay, that's something else I will tell y'all. If it's meant to be, God will send it back your way. The spirit realm, God, whatever y'all believe in, same thing. The spirit realm will send it back your way. Maybe they had to do some work on themselves. Just like I got with that last reading uh, last night. When they had that hermit energy. No, no, I got that, uh, this last reading I did with that hermit energy. Maybe they did a lot of self-reflection. I'm not going to stem this back to the last read, but man, I'm telling you, some of the same cards are coming out from my read I had last night. You know what I'm saying? But even my last read, they have some of the same cards that keep on showing up. They keep showing their faces. It keeps showing that same energy. And that right there is synchronicities. It starts adding up like something is trying to catch our attention as I say, hey. Because why else would these same cards be showing up in my spread? You know what I'm saying? Something to pay attention to. If something keeps showing itself like that, that right there is a form of synchronicity. Not meaning that you should expect it to happen, but you have synchronicities in the spread too. 33, the number's 33. 88. 888 three, eight. Guess what? Three. That's another three. You could be seeing three, three, three. See, see what I'm saying, bro? There's a lot of synchronicities here. I'm telling y'all. A lot of synchronicities. Just like I said. What you see at the top? Three, three. Written right there in letters. 33. Then you have three eight. That adds on to those two threes, which in meaning three, three, three. Hey, you know what else has three letters in it? Well, you know what else can stand for three? I love you. Four wands. This is just things to pay attention to, okay? It's a lot of synchronicities that's adding up here, all right? Because I'm getting some of the same cards and damn near two of my last spreads, my last two videos that I did, they're coming up. Definitely with that communication, y'all, this has been showing up a lot, a whole hell of a lot.
But as you have right here, the Eight of Cups. Look right here. That cup's missing and you already know where it's at. But that's what I have for y'all, Scarf. Y'all go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have donated, I greatly appreciate that, y'all. From the bottom of my heart, from my soul, anything you could think of, okay? But just like I always say, I have information in the description box below if y'all care to leave a donation. <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. If y'all care to leave a donation, I have a link in the description box below, okay? Along with other information. But y'all take it easy out there. Much love to everybody. Peace out.